What's up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. If you are new here, I'm always doing videos so you can improve your mental and emotional health. And in this video, I'm gonna do another breakdown of Gary Vaynerchuk's psychology, and this is important. I've had so many messages and comments and all that lately with people talking about how they're afraid of their family members judging them. But this goes out even broader than that. It goes out to friends and colleagues and people from high school you're worried about what they think you're up to and where you're at in life and you're constantly comparing yourself to others but anyways i'm gonna show you a clip from gary vaynerchuk's speech at a dutch brothers coffee conference and just for the sake of time and i know you got a short attention span i've cut it up a little but you're about to get the gist of it and if you're touchy and don't like the f word i apologize in advance but that's just how gary vaynerchuk rolls let's watch um, there's this inherited fear of failing in your career, your major, your degree, your business, uh, moving up in Dutch Rose management, whatever it may be for yourself. Um, what's your one liner for just taking the leap and going for it? You know, it's, it's, you know, I hate repeating myself, but like I get it and I, I'll do it until the day I die. Who are you afraid of? Like what? When you get fired from Dutch Bros tomorrow, right? Right? Like when you, right? Which I can see is, pretty much gonna happen, right? <laughs> like when that happens, right, when that happens, like what are you scared of? Like what, your dad's gonna be like, I told you you're a loser? Or like, or like your girl's like, I can never trust you, I can never marry you? Like what? I, it is a woo, like what? Like tell me the thing, like what? Like what? I love, I swear on my fucking kid's health, I'm obsessed with losing. I fucking love losing. I love losing because I know exactly what you're thinking about my loss and I can't wait to stick it in your fucking face when I come back. I remember once my grandma said that I was lazy because after seven hours of fucking dragging wood in my parents' backyard, I was like, I need a break because she's old school Russian gangster. And I remember laying there and her drilling me and me thinking to myself, I'm gonna fucking stick it to you, grandma, like nobody's ever, like, like I like losing. I'd actually, I'd actually have a whole different new concept. I recommend fucking up on purpose. I'm being serious. It's so much better to like eliminate expectations from the get. Then you're playing with house money. If you're scared of other people's opinion, fuck up on purpose, then everybody thinks you suck shit, then it's all upside. All right, like he pretty much just summed it up right there. And I want to make very clear. I actually hate motivational speakers. It's a weird thing. I'll do a video on that later. But Gary Vaynerchuk, he talks about how he's not meant to be a motivational speaker. All he's trying to do is inspire people to do the things they already know that they can do and try to break away some of these barriers. What's funny is I finally got sold on Gary Vaynerchuk when he was on the 10% Happier podcast. I, I've just really been intrigued by Gary's natural ability to be very self-aware and kind of peel away the layers that a lot of people don't see so just like he was talking about like I mentioned this in my last video that I'm going to link up in the description we have to start peeling back these layers and getting curious and asking ourselves like why where is this coming from where is this fear of my family judging me coming from and here's something that I do on a daily basis I filter the information coming in and who it is coming from. For example, when it comes to your family and they're looking down on you for the job choice you made or what you're going to school for or who you're dating, I look at them and I analyze them and I ask myself one question, are they happy in life? And even if they are, I ask myself another question, do I want to be who they are? Because there's somebody who might be very happy, but somebody who's always talking down to people and judging other people, I look at myself and I'm like, do I wanna be like that? Because if you answered no to any of those questions, then why are you trying to go down a path that they think is right for you? That's the question that we have to ask ourselves when it comes to a judgmental mom, dad, brother, sister, friend, whoever it is, we have to ask ourselves like, why is this opinion 
so important to me? Why am I affected by what they think? Gary talks a lot about how he lives for his funeral. And basically what he's saying is, he knows he's gonna die someday. Me, I was very fortunate and unfortunate, depending on how you look at it. Five years ago, I had a 10% chance of living, I almost died. My time is very, very valuable to me. I cannot waste my time trying to live up to someone's expectations because if you've ever been in, let's say, a toxic relationship where you try and try and try and try, and once you get to the top of what you think is that mountaintop for that person, what you often find is that they're still disappointed. So why am I basing my life, my decisions, my actions off of what somebody else thinks when I know that they may never be satisfied? Now, I wanna to touch on Gary's last point he made. Like, go out, go fuck up on purpose. Eliminate all expectations. Like, I truly believe in that. I don't recommend that you take the route that I did, but that was my experience. For those of you who are new here, I am a recovering drug addict. Five, and, five years ago, I was in the hospital, congestive heart failure, my heart was the side of, size of my lungs, I lost everything. I couldn't see my son, lost my job, lost my truck, lost my apartment, all my friends hated me, my family hated me, everybody hated me, right? The beautiful thing about rock bottom is that there's only one direction to go, and that way's up, all right? So people doubted me, People thought that I wasn't gonna stay clean. They thought I wasn't gonna stay sober. They thought that I was never going to amount to anything. And I have that mentality. I have this competitive mindset that I tap into. See, there's two different ways that you can work with this, all right? One is that they say these things and it beats you up, it tears you down, and now you start having that negative self-talk in your head, or you take that, and like Gary said, he wanted to stick it to his grandma, like, you take that and you use that as your motivation. When people thought that I wasn't gonna stay sober, like any of you recovering addicts out there watching this video, I know I got some of you out there in the audience, use that as your fuel. When people doubt you, like the worst thing you could do is prove them right. Go out there and prove them wrong. When they think that you can't do something, go out there and do it, work harder. I had people who thought it was a bad idea for me to start this YouTube channel. Chris, people don't wanna talk about that stuff. Chris, there's not really a following for it. And no, I'm not some huge YouTuber. I'm no Jake Paul or Logan Paul or anything like that, and I probably never will be. But in the last five months or so, I've grown this channel pretty well, a lot more than I thought. And it's because I wanted to prove those people wrong. I wanted to get this message out there for anybody who is out there struggling with mental health or mental illness problems or addiction or emotional issues or trauma. Like, I wanted people to know about the solutions that we can discuss. So, you know what I do? I work my day job at a drug and alcohol rehab and I come home and I make this content for you and I work my butt off. I love proving people wrong. And that's what I love about Gary Vaynerchuk. Like I said, he's not even meant to be a motivational speaker, but I I can't stop reading his books. Well, if you know me, I do uh, audio books. And uh, I just finished up another one of his books, but like I will put links in the end card for this video to go to his channel. I will also have some links in the description for some of his uh, books that he's written. They're amazing. And this isn't meant to make you like go out and like try to become a billionaire or anything like that. It's trying to find what makes you happy because that's what matters at the end of the day. I am going to do another video about how happiness is not based on your success. Success is actually based on your happiness. So find that happiness and in turn, you will find that you are successful. And no matter what it is, it doesn't matter if it's work, if it's school, if it's relationships, all right? So just keep that in mind. I will also link to the video that this came from, Gary Vaynerchuk's talk. I listen to these talks all the time and it's, it's just amazing. So here's the question of the day. Just like what Gary Vaynerchuk asked, what are you afraid of? What is your worst case scenario? What are you so afraid of? Let's start thinking about that and then let's move forward and pursue the dreams that we have and be the people that we wanna be because that's really all that matters, all right? 
So if you like this video, please give this a thumbs up. And if you are new here, like I said, I'm always doing mental health and addiction recovery videos. So click the little round subscribe button. And also if you're new here, click or tap on one of the thumbnails right there to check out some of the other videos on this channel. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.